hi and welcome back to my channel so I wanted to do this special video as we are in the month of October and I know I'm like a week behind actually two weeks behind but better late than never so today I wanted to just do this video to talk about domestic violence because like I said we're in the month of October and during the month of October we talk a lot about domestic violence and so I found some interesting statistics that I wanted to share with you. So by def by definition, domestic violence involves violence or abuse by one person against another in a familial or intimate relationship. So domestic violence is most commonly thought of as intimate partner violence, but can also include violence or abuse from a family member. Okay? So description, the term intimate partner violence includes the following acts as inflicted or caused by a current or former intimate partner. Actual or threats of physical violence, actual or threats of sexual violence, emotional or psychological abuse such as name calling, put downs, threats to out a person's sexual orientation to family, work or friends, stalking to include excessive calls, texts, emails, monitoring daily activities, using technology to track a person's location, financial abuse, Includes withholding money, ruining credit, stopping a partner from getting or keeping a job. Intimate partners can include current or former spouses, boyfriends or girlfriends, dating partners or sexual partners. Domestic violence can occur in heterosexual and same-sex relationships. And I know sometimes we don't think about the same-sex relationships, but it can occur. So statistics and facts. One in four women... And one in seven men will experience severe physical violence by an intimate partner in their lifetime. One in ten women in the United States will be raped by an intimate partner in her lifetime. Approximately 16.9% of women and 8% of men will experience sexual violence other than rape by an intimate partner or at some point, at some point in their lifetime. Data on sexual violence against men may be underreported. And let me not say maybe, it is. Because let's just face it, as a man, who wants to go and report that they've had a sexual crime committed against them? It's that man thing, you know, they, they don't want to admit that these kinds of things happen, but they do. And you have to come forward and report it. That's the only way we can stop this kind of stuff. So an estimated 9.7% of women and 2.3% of men have been stalked by an intimate partner during their lifetime. Nearly half of all women and men in the United States will experience psychological aggression by an intimate partner in their lifetime. Over half of the female male victims of rape, physical violence, and or stalking by an intimate partner experience some form of intimate partner violence for the first time before the age of 25, you guys. Domestic violence experienced by race and ethnicity. Almost half, 47.5% of American Indian, Alaskan Native women, 45.1% of non-Hispanic black women, 37.3% of non-Hispanic white women, 34.4% of Hispanic women, and 18.3% of Asian Pacific Islander women experience sexual violence, physical violence, and or stalking by an intimate partner in their lifetime. Domestic violence and sexual orientation, 2.5% lesbian women three and five i'm sorry two and five lesbian women three and five bisexual women and one in three heterosexual women will experience rape physical violence and or stalking by an intimate partner in their lifetime one in four gay men one in three bisexual men and three in ten heterosexual men will experience rape physical violence and or stalking by an intimate partner in their lifetime domestic violence in new york city Intimate partner homicide accounts for over half of all New York City family-related homicides. The New York City Police Department responds to approximately, y'all get this, 230,000 domestic e incidents each year. 230,000. You guys, that's a lot. And we, I just wanted to share these statistics with you because I think we need to do a much better job of trying to make sure you know limit domestic violence number one and here's the thing if you've been a, a victim of domestic violence you need to leave i know people will say i'm sorry i won't do it again and they do it and they do it over and over and over again and for those of you that have kids your children are seeing this what do you think that does to them 
So you owe it to yourself. You owe it to your kids. Get out of those relationships while you still can because many have stayed and they're no longer with us. So I hope those I hope those statistics help some of you if you didn't know and and you know now you know. And and knowledge is power, right? So I'm going to make sure I leave in the description box a number where you can call someone for help if you find yourself in these situations and you are afraid to leave because there are so many organizations out here that are standing by and willing to help you. We don't need any more victims. So that's all I have for you guys. You know, I, I'm sorry that, you know, that I had to share those these statistics with you but many people didn't know that and I didn't know a lot of this stuff so I wanted to share with you stop being a victim until next week take care